and back of me is the Dr. Martin Luther King Memorial, which opened in 2011, right by the Tidal Basin, across the way is the Jefferson Memorial. And uh, this, of course, is a memorial to Dr. Martin Luther King, the civil rights activist. And this whole area is the memorial, but this in back of me is called the Stone of Hope. And there's 159 separate granite blocks that were shipped to China because the sculptor was Chinese. And he had sculpted about 80% of what you see in China before and did the rest of it here in D.C. I do want to give you a personal story about Dr. King. Uh, he died, he was assassinated in 1968 when I was 10 years old. And I remember when I was watching TV by myself in a room and all of a sudden there was a special report and there was a black and white picture of Dr. Martin Luther King on there and said he was assassinated, he was killed. So I went to my mother and said, Mom, why are they making such a big deal that a doctor died? At the time I didn't know who he was obviously, but we all learned who he is over time. So this is a fitting memorial for him. Uh, it's just part of the many memorials in Washington, D.C. But uh, this is a special one for civil rights. And the address, by the way, of this memorial is 1964 Independence Avenue because the Civil Rights Act was passed in 1964. As I mentioned, the Martin Luther King Memorial includes the Stone of Hope on the right, and it also features the Mountain of Despair, which is in the background on the left. The inspiration for the memorial design is a line from King's I Have a Dream speech, quote, out of the Mountain of Despair, a Stone of Hope, end quote. Pale pink granite was used to create the Stone of Hope to ensure that the carving's details would be visible at night and the contrast with the Mountain of Despair. Visitors figuratively pass through the Mountain of Despair on the way to the Stone of Hope, symbolically moving through the struggle as Dr. King did. King is also emerging as a Stone of Hope from the symbolic Mountain of Despair. Additionally, the rough edges of the Stone of Hope represent the difficult journey, while the entrance symbolizes the openness of democracy. On the other side of the Stone of Hope stone was a quotation that caused controversy. The words used to read, quote, I was a drum major for justice, peace, and righteousness, end quote which is a paraphrased version of a longer quote by King, quote, if you want to say that I was a drum major, say that I was a drum major for justice, say that I was a drum major for peace, I was a drum major for righteousness, and all the other shallow things will not matter, end quote. Some thought that the paraphrased version made him look arrogant, so the decision was reached to remove the paraphrased version of the quote in August 2013, instead of replacing it with the full quote, because it could have damaged the structural integrity of the stone. 14 quotes from King's speeches, sermons, and writings are inscribed on the 450-foot-long inscription wall. Nick Benson, a Rhode Island designer and stone carver, and his team did the text engravings. Benson spent more than two years on the project. His other engravings include the World War II Memorial and the National Gallery of Art. <laughs> 